competition with that rock. There we go. Another issue of Willie's Rounds and Pickup Video. Been traveling a lot since the last time I've uh, made one of these pickup videos. Uh, one of the towns I visited was Utica, Michigan. And while I was there, I visited the local store, the Disc Replay. They had a whole bunch, uh, well, they still got them, a whole bunch of these box and television, ColecoVision, Atari 2600 games. Tons of them there. Uh, they also had like one of those little Miss Pac-Man Coleco tabletops. It was kind of hiding in the back of a cabinet. Pretty cool to see all that kind of stuff. Didn't really pick up anything there. I really couldn't find anything I wanted. But if you're around Utica, Michigan, you're looking for some box games for the Intellivision, ColecoVision, or Atari 2600, definitely hit that store up. A lot of them there. It was really cool to see all those. Of course, while I was in Detroit, I also visited a couple other stores that are favorites of mine. First one was uh, RetroTaku. Love that store. Had a really cool Gorf uh, homebrew game for the Jaguar CD there. Pretty awesome to see that. I've never seen one of those before. Also, while I was in town, I visited the new location of another favorite store of mine, Destiny Games. If you're ever in the Romulus, Michigan area, definitely hit up Destiny Games. It's, it's a really cool store owned by a really cool guy. And just down the street, when I was heading back to the hotel, I passed another game store. I had no idea it was even there. Uh, it was called Gamers Avenue. I guess it's been there for quite a while. It's also a really nice store that's laid out real good. It's got a neat little area where you can play games. It's got everything in glass cases. You can walk up down these aisles. Really well laid out store. So, you know, definitely check that store out as well. While I was traveling around, I also made a visit out to Omaha, Nebraska. While I was out there, I visited a store called Pulp Culture. This store is awesome. It has a whole bunch of retro items in there from the 70s, 80s, 90s, some even older, some more modern stuff. Uh, they had a really cool model kit in there of a robot that I was very tempted to pick up. Saw some box Atari, Atari systems and, and a tel box and television system. And some other really cool items up there in the store. If you're in the Omaha, Nebraska area, definitely visit Pop Culture. It's, it's actually a really, really nice store. Also, while I was out there, I visited another store called Ben's Game Zone. Really awesome store there as well. Had a few Atari games loose and had some box stuff there. Had a lot of neat little systems like a Telstar Colortron, the Black Sega Dreamcast, and some other neat little consoles there. They had a a copy of In the Hunt for the PlayStation 1, which I love that arcade game. and It's actually a good port to the PlayStation 1. I've got a copy of it here. So it's some really cool stuff that I saw there. Let's see, where else? Okay. Well, let's get to the pickups I've had over the past few weeks. Well, right off the bat, i got a whole, whole bunch of stuff here. i got a bunch of Atari 8-bit games from my buddy, buddy John. The reason why I got these games for John is uh, they were partially in payment for repairing his Atari, his uh, Atari Coleco Gemini system. Uh, his Gemini had that problem where the controller ports were loose, so I just took it apart, soldered them back in, put some uh, hot glue around them to strengthen them up, all that good stuff. It's a common issue with the Gemini, but got a hold of Gorf for the Atari 8-bit. Also, Centipede for the Atari 8-bit, awesome. Robotron 2084. I love the arcade games on the Atari 8 bit. Asteroid! That's right. And of course, Jungle Hunt. Yes. And then when I was out and about, my pickups when I was in Omaha and, and Detroit and everything, I came across Frogger 2 for the Atari 8 bit to add to my collection. It's pretty awesome about that. I found the Namco Museum letter C for the PlayStation 1. I'm going to try to collect the, the whole series of Namco. Maybe get to R as well, which is only available over Japan. But this is kind of cool to find this and get, get that picked up. Also found O. So, you know, I'm almost there. Just the N, A, and M. 
N and M may be pretty easy to get because I don't know why they're so common, but A is going to be a little bit of a problem, I think. I've been trying to find one of those, and I'm not seeing one of those in the wild in a long time. Also picked up a box copy of Locomotion. This is going to be for the the uh, series, the IntelliCade series I'm doing. <clears throat> Found a box copy of Ladybug. Oh yeah. For the Intellivision. I had to pick up a box copy of Tron Deadly Disc. It's my favorite game on the Intellivision. I do have a loose card of it, but this is in really good shape, so I decided just to pick it up in the box. And of course, I had some more games sent to me by another viewer of the channel. I actually had to repair his Atari 5200. It had a couple bad controller uh, I.O. chips in it. And so I put sockets on there and I put some new chips. Got it all tested out, got it working. And for payment for doing that, he sent me some games for my collection as well. He sent me Pac-Man for the Intellivision. That's going to be another IntelliCade video. He also sent me Boyga Time for the Intellivision. He sent me a box California games for the 2600. It's kind of cool. I like the hacky sack on here. That's one reason why I like it. He also sent me a Space Armada, which is basically Space Invaders for the Intellivision. Don't know if I'll make a video on this or not for the IntelliCade because it's not actually an arcade port. And of course, I picked up Donkey Kong Jr. for the Atari 2600 for the Atari K2600 video series I'm doing. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. I came across this really cool Pac-Man pinball game. A little toy. I want to do a video on that for the toy too. It's actually kind of cool. Picked up this Talking Play-by-Play -play Baseball. Don't know if I'll make a video on this video on or not on this. It was only five bucks, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's an electronic game, it talks and everything, so it's it's pretty cool. Let's see if I can turn it on here. Oh, it'll work. First inning. Eagles at bat. Dee -dee -dee. Eagles at bat. That's kinda awesome. Also picked up this really neat Tandy football, championship football, handheld LED game. I'll be making a Toy Tune video about this. Because I love the old Tandy toys. They're pretty cool. Picked up a neat board game called Breakthrough. That actually has metal pieces in here for the playing pieces. This was made back in 1965. It's a very old board game. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, don't, don't, I don't think I'll do a video on this, but I know my pal Norm from the Board Game Museum. He did a video on this, so I'll probably link to that. In the notes down below. Oop. Avalanche, retro lanch. Also found for the Toy Tune podcast, it's really cool, ready controlled, Super Stalker, Richer Petty number 43. This will be another Toy Tune video I'll be doing. I love RC vehicles, especially these older Tyco RC vehicles. They're pretty neat. And then lastly, but not leastly, I found a steel sealed Lionel train set. Whoa, awesome. Whoa, there we go, now you see it. Now the reason why I picked this up is it's a local rail line that's in here, the Atlantic Coast Line. I didn't have this back, you know, in the day. I had the Southern Express one that came out in the late 70s. But this will do to make a Toy Tune video about, about Lionel Trains and what I used to have and what I liked about them and everything. So I'm pretty stoked to get this, especially being sealed. It's pretty awesome. I think this is from 87 or something like that. <clears throat> but anyway, I think that's everything. Yeah, that's all the pickups. I want to thank everyone for participating in my live stream I did for the Pac-Man, 4K Pac-Man Atari 2600 giveaway. Had quite a few people participate. It was actually a lot of fun. I don't really live stream very much, but I may do that again in the future for some future contests. It was actually, I actually really enjoyed doing that. It's pretty cool. Anyway, enough rambling. Have fun out there. 
keep it retro. Thanks for watching.